And if I die, I won't be, because it'll be for God. And I want to do something for the Lord. I want to do something for my Savior. He died for me. He died for you. He spilled his blood upon the old rugged cross. And how many now has looked into the cross? How many will take about the cross? But friends, you can go on. You can go on a few more days, a few more years, maybe, if God will spare you alive, and then it'll all be off. I thank the Lord. May the Lord bless you all and hear the word here this afternoon. I feel that that's what God had me to say. And now he tells us how the snake bit him. The serpent was laying in the box. When I looked in there, he was laying all coiled up in the box with about that much of a, from the head. And I looked down and I picked him up with this hand. As I come up with him, I didn't see it. He offered to buy it at any time. And I lift, held him up in this hand. And as I was standing there with him in my hand, he just reached around and he caught me by the finger. This hit one time there. It didn't hurt so very bad. And I turned around from the congregation and the serpent back in the box. And I looked around, he crawled out of the box, and I went and picked him up again with the same hand. At that time, he, at that time he picked, uh, as I picked him up there, well, he caught me here in the, with, 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 here in the hand here. And he hit me with the hand. I went back to the box and put him back in the box. And then after that, why, after I'd put him back in the box that time, I didn't pick him up anymore, and I called on the saints to pray for me. I said, Lord, and I have a healing, sir. So I'm going to ask him right now to have a healing, sir. In the glory of the Lord. All the world awaits the outcome of this human drama of man's faith in God.